Hello everybody and welcome back to Turning Tuesday. In this episode we're going to make yet another bowl, but this one I want to make a natural edged thingy and possibly do a bit of scorching in it as well. I want this thing to look pretty gnarly. So let's get going. So no need for any prep in today's video because this one is kind of round. Um, in terms of the material for this, I'm not entirely sure what wood this actually is. Originally I thought acacia, but then I had a comment the other day or two comments saying it might be black locust. Um, when you freshly cut it, it's greeny, yellowy, something like this. But then when it ages, it goes brown. So you can see these are the ends that were exposed for quite a while and yeah, they've completely changed color. So if any of you have any idea as to what this is, please let me know. I would, I'd be very interested. So natural edged bowls, this is very new to me and I'm trying to get my head around it because this is the section that I want to hollow out, which means this is the section that I need to hold in the chuck. But I need to turn that side first in order to create the mortise to hold it in the chuck, which means I need to start it this way round. But then how the blimmin' hell do you grip this area? Because in order to make a surface there that I can grip, I need to start this way round. So I'm kind of just like flipping it round as I go. I reckon if I start this off between a prong drive and a live center, I can kind of come in from this way, flatten off the majority of that face and then unmount it from that live center, just like maybe plain flush cuts or whatever I need to do in order to fix a faceplate onto that section, spin it round and then I create the bowl as usual, yeah? Tell you what, it's a shame I'm gonna lose a lot of the bark and moss on this because it looks really cool. It's like a nice greeny, browny, well, as you'd expect from bark and moss, you absolute idiot. Maybe next time I'll do a epoxy pour or something like that. Right, here we go. So I'm pretty much there. I did have some bits of bark break off and then other bits have remained or kind of just hanging on by a small thread. So I'm gonna remove these last little bits just so it's even around the entire thing. I quite like it if it would have a sapwood edge around it like this. And then maybe I'll just put some like round over on the top or something like that. Got these microplane rasps. I wonder if that'll work. Yeah, there you go.
All right, so the outside of this is sanded to 240 grit and it's feeling lovely. The inside is sanded to 80 grit. This is looking nice, and I know a lot of you will want me to stop at this point, but I'm all about experimentation, especially with Turning Tuesday, because I don't feel attached to any of these. If they go wrong, then who cares? So I want to see what this looks like. Scorched. We are going to go outside and do just that. I'm going to give it a quick scrub down with some wire wool and just see if I can open that grain up a bit because I went quite far with that on the outside but then the inside has still got a pretty cool yellowy look to it. I just went over it enough to kind of highlight the grain in there and I think that looks pretty cool but I do have an idea for the outside which is going to be completely over the top once I scrub this down. And I'm not sure what it's gonna look like, but I'm looking forward to doing it. So bear with me on this. I'm either gonna make this look awful or spectacular. I feel like it will be the former, but it's in the name of experimentation, so who cares? So on my shelf for a few years, I've had this metal powder and it's a, it's a bronze powder, but it has copper written on the front. So I don't actually know if it's bronze powder or if it's copper. I'm assuming seeing as it says bronze powder, it is bronze powder. Uh, but yeah, it's like a disco in there. It's really cool. So I am wondering if I can cram some of that in the cracks in here and see if it actually attaches to the bowl or not. The difficulty is gonna be getting it hot enough to melt without setting fire to the bowl. I guess we'll just have to see. Obviously I could just gild this or something like that. I do have metal leaf, I do have some size in order to actually adhere it to the surface, but I just wanna mess around to be honest and I haven't been able to use this bronze powder until now, so I'm gonna do it, just in case. Um, okay, it looks like the entire inside of the bowl is going to be bronze. I am not a tidy man by any means. This is looking so cool. I'm gonna keep putting more bronze on and burning it. I mean, that, that turned out unexpected, didn't it? Originally, I was just gonna make a bowl, do some light scorching, and there we go. Then I decided to put a bit of bronze powder in the cracks, ended up spilling it everywhere, and then just ended up burning it all into the inside of the bowl. But actually, that looks pretty sweet. I mean, the execution isn't great. It could be more even and consistent in there. I didn't quite get the temperature and movement of the flame correct, but it's created some really nice colors in there and it kind of mimics the effects that I got in a previous video that I did probably about this time last year, which was gilding a surface with metal leaf and then applying a chemical to it to patina the surface and it gave me similar colors to this. So if you're interested in that process, there's a link in the top corner as well as the description. 
But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I also spilt some bronze powder on the outside of the bowl as well, where it's more heavily scorched. And that just looks amazing. I think that's, that's actually my favorite part of the bowl, never mind what's going on in here. That looks pretty cool on the outside, so I'll definitely be doing that again. Now, some of you may be asking, Matt, what are you gonna finish this in? I am probably gonna leave it unfinished. Um, the reason is, as soon as you put a finish on that bluey, purpley, yellowy bit on the inside where the metals change color, you lose that color. You sometimes end up wiping it off. It usually ends up going down to a dull gray color, so I am probably just gonna leave it. But yeah, I am, uh, I'm unexpectedly happy with that. So if you liked the video, don't forget to press that little like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.